excited? It's the wig. It's chocolate matcha. No, they're eyeballs for our monster muffin. Monster muffin. So we've got some eyeballs. But guys, I'm 39 weeks and six days, which is the day I went into labor with you. But there are no signs of that. Yes, Japanese. Let's open it. We're making monster cookies. Monster muffins. Monster muffins. Monster muffins. We're going to the sunny app. We're going to the sunny app. What are the paleo post workouts? They look yum. They are not yum, yeah. You, they don't look yum? Yeah. Oh. Let's type in muffins again. What about these ones? Banana blueberry muffins. No. <gasps> Let's do hidden veg muffins. That is such a great idea. We're going to do those. Yes. Hidden veg muffins. Monster Ooh, style. Yeah. This is too big. Sorry, my friend. <gasps> I'm grumpier. You're grumpy? I'm happier. If you had a YouTube channel, would you have like a cooking channel or what would you have? Cooking channel. What would you make? Just muffins? I cut some fish and I cut some froggies. You would cook frogs? Yeah. Would you eat a frog? Yeah. Oh my goodness. What's the rule with cooking? No eating. No eating as we cook. This is your channel. So you need to tell them how to make it. So you say, first you need a bowl. First you need a bowl. Two bananas. No eating. No eating as we cook. And mash. Very good, very good. Tell your channels. One carrot. One carrot. And one cucumber. Come on, cucumber. Hold it like this. I want to do it with the bag of shorts. Be careful because you can really hurt yourself. Good job. I look like the guy from Blue's Clues. <laughs> okay, you put that bit in. Good job. Look at this teamwork. Yum, Fox, this is gonna be so good. You hold this, say two thirds. Two thirds? Of raw honey. Raw honey. <gasps> Why does that always happen with these? All right, pour it in. <laughs> yep, the whole thing. We need more honey. Yeah, that is correct. We need to add that to the grocery list. We've got a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, which is basically that. Sweet. Say a little bit of olive oil, mm -hmm. roughly. Actually, so, wait, so they can replicate. Oh, okay. Great, like three tablespoons. Great. My do it? Yep, two tablespoons of tapioca starch. Two tablespoons of tapioca starch. One, yep. Whisk, 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 whisk. Got some gluten free flour. Okay. Keep stirring, that looks so good. I'll pass them to you. And one here. I will give this to you if you don't eat it. Okay, we need to put them in the muffin tray. Okay. No, 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 we're not licking yet. We're putting the batter in here. Very good. Wow, that looks great. Okay, bad news. Um, baby brain, inability to read. Hmm. The first ingredient was two cups of oats blended into oat flour. We literally have half a cup of gluten-free flour in there and we're supposed to have two and a half cups. How did I do that? That happens. It happens, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Now we need to pick two colours. Green. Green. So they're still in the oven. Still in the oven. But we forgot the flour. We got the flour. So they might not work. We not work. So for the interim, let's do the icing. We'll do the coloured icing. And we can even just put them on rice cakes as we wait. Do you want to try and do a purple? Yeah. We need three drops of red. One, two, three. That's getting a good colour, isn't it? Are you going to make your first monster purple or green? Green. Okay, got purple. And now we'll do the green one. The next guys. Wow. Froggy. What? Froggy? Froggy monster. All right, let's do a rice cracker at the moment while we wait for our amazing oh, muffins. And then spread it on. Got this. I'll help you spread it. That's the monster's face. Say monster's face. Like this. Are you going to put two eyes on him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm having the best day ever. You're having the best day ever? Very good. Okay, should we get a nose? Yeah. Wow, that looks so good, Fox. Do you want to try him? Mmm. Yeah. What does he taste like? I'm here. Beautiful. He looks so good. Okay, great. Fox is being my human vacuum and literally picking up every single sprinkle he can find. And note to self, don't ever forget the flower. Like, they are just unsalvageable. It's just like mush. I've shared this list before. This is like my friends and family. Like there's a bigger list, but this is like the main people who are kind of like in the list club at the moment. It's like people who I see it a lot. I can't believe 
that we are all wrong, except potentially Maddie and Will. I remember writing this down when Will said the 12th of March. I was like, this is a sick joke. Are you saying this to annoy me? And he was like, no, I think that's what it is. I'm like, you don't know anything. Like, I'm gonna go early. You fool. Who's the fool now, Sarah? You. You. Does anyone else forget they have different rooms in the house? I swear, every vlog, I'm just here. Oh, by the way, hi. It's my due date today. Well, it's not my due date. It's a baby's due date. And I'm still pregnant. What is this vlog? I was never meant to make this vlog. The last vlog, that was supposed to be the last of it. This is supposed to be my birth vlog. Maybe it is. Maybe my water will break tonight. Wouldn't that be fun for all of us? Let's just like focus on the positives for a second. Yeah, I'm still pregnant, but you know what that means? It means my food intolerances are still not here. I have been living off dairy. This vintage cheddar. <gasps> if that doesn't make sense to you, then like where have you been? Literally every vlog I tell you guys how excited I am that when I get pregnant, my dairy intolerance fully goes away. But this pregnancy has like extra sprinkles on the cake. Not only can I have dairy, but I've been able to have gluten in the form of sourdough. Thank you you so today i am gonna do some movement okay i haven't worked out in like 10 days if i ever do a workout it's from my pregnancy ebook with charlotte she is my physio my pelvic floor physio the reason we haven't released it yet is because it is such a big document it is so much work so our team are currently in the office editing the photos and organizing it all and we have our copywriter reading through it all like it is a big ebook it goes through so much information in terms of like how hard should you be pushing yourself in the gym what is a pelvic floor how to protect your pelvic floor how to check your pelvic floor as well as workouts for pretty much your whole pregnancy so when I do work out I've been doing workouts from our ebook but today I don't really want to do a workout necessarily I just want to like move my hips I can't imagine what this is gonna look like in a year I'm like this is so stretched okay let's go do some movement I was even looking up photos of like, what is a visual representation of SPD, symphysis pubis dysfunction, because it is just so uncomfortable. I can't even put my back leg back. I'm just full of positivity today, aren't I? <laughs> I feel like my last two vlogs, <laughs> this one in particular, are just so negative. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm so exhausted. I'm actually really struggling. It's like 5 p.m. My hair is disgusting. I am 40 weeks and two days, soon to be 40 weeks and three days tomorrow. Unless I go into labor tonight, but like I highly doubt that. My whole body reeks of clary sage at the moment, which is like an essential oil that helps apparently make your contractions more intense or like whatever. I didn't sleep at all last night, mostly because Fox is sick. So he just kept waking up, wanting to blow his nose, wanting water, wanting cuddles, like he's sick. I'm not even gonna know when I'm in labor because my body's just like, I don't know, this is just weird. And I know I'm only technically like almost three days overdue and that's like really nothing in the scheme of things. It's just, I really thought I was gonna go early. So I've been kind of like waiting for labor. For like a month <laughs> anyway today i got acupuncture for hopefully the last time it was more intense than the vlog you saw last time so usually every week i just get acupuncture on like my hands and my legs and it's all about like softening and ripening the cervix but today i got points in my shoulders i got points in my back and she also did the moxa stick down my back which is like flowing energy and blood down i don't know could go into labor tonight who knows i'm 40 weeks <laughs> and two days and I'm only just sitting down to like properly pack my hospital bag. I have to be quiet because Fox is asleep in our bed. He's still asleep. 
this corner of the house has just looked like this for so long now. I'll put you in the little crib. That's the baby's like co-sleeper crib. Okay, I've got my suitcase here. So I've got in this one. I don't think I'm gonna use this. Like I really don't, but just in case I have like back pain, who knows, I probably won't use it. Scent, I am gonna add Clary Sage to this bag, but I'm using it at the moment, just like on my body for nighttime. But this is a peaceful blend. I really love smells and like putting things in aromatherapy. Now these are my co- I swear it's like a new fad, like a new labor fad of putting them there. And when the contraction gets like really intense, you squeeze, I guess as hard as you can, as hard as you want to. And it helps direct pain receptors to your hands rather than wherever you're feeling it in the contraction. So I didn't try that with Fox's labor and I really struggled with contractions like most women do. So I'm really interested to see how that goes. And then here I've got my postpartum stuff. I don't even know if I'll use this. It's a healing foam by the brand Kin. I think you mix it with this peri bottle with some warm water and like it's to clean the area. And then I have my adult nappies. I love these. I did bring pads as well and some, I don't think I'm gonna use period undies. Like I'm gonna be so intense. Like I'm probably gonna be bleeding a lot. So I bought period undies. I have a big pad but I think I'll go home in this. I lived in these for a few weeks postpartum with Fox. These are the Depends Women's Nappies. I love them. I am borrowing my friend's TENS machine. I had a TENS machine with Fox and I hated it. It's kind of like, I'll put a little blurb up here what a TENS machine is, but it's basically kind of like these electric shocks. It might not even be, but it feels like electric shocks in your back. So you can kind of like stick these little pads to your back and it sends like these little bzz, bzz, bzz electrodes. To be honest, I don't even know how to use this one. I'm gonna make Kurt <laughs> read about it when I'm in labor if I wanna use it. Then I've just got this clear pack that I I've asked Kurt to put some things in when I'm in labor. So this is just like for charges and batteries and stuff like that. And then in this compartment, I've got two breastfeeding friendly crops. I've got this like bougie one from online somewhere. And then I've just got this Bonds one. The Bonds ones are awesome. I have like six of these. Nipple pads, nipple covers. I might not even need these. Like I think I'll only really leak when my milk comes in, which is like usually day three. I've got my compression shorts, which I wore last time, but I don't know if I'll feel comfortable enough to wear them like right after birth they might be too tight but I'm bringing them anyway I've got two pairs of socks because you don't want to have cold feet in the hospital that's the worst I've got a bunch of snacks like some high sugar snacks which I'm gonna put my lollies in here too but I've got some fruit straps some muesli bars I need to put my Tropica protein bars in there and then I really like I'm really not bringing that much I'm just bringing like whatever I rock up to the hospital in is what I will birth in like I don't really care so I'm bringing an eye mask in case, you know, like just to get some sleep. I'm bringing some fresh pajamas for afterbirth, like my shower. And then to come home in, I've just bought two different options. I've just bought some black shorts, black long pants in case it's colder, and like an open corduroy shirt, which I'll just like have my breastfeeding bra underneath. And then some little slippers for the hospital. And that's pretty much it. I have this list here, which again, I said I want Kurt to pack stuff. Um, I'll put the list here, but it's AirPods, headphones, iPhone, iPhone charger, yoga sleep and charger, Sezi toiletries, Kurt's toiletries, Kurt change of clothes, vlogging camera, camera chargers, Fuji film, drink bottle, my black camera back one with the sippy thing, fruit salad, birthing ball, clary sage, good gun, diffuser and oil, Yui boom, and four colostrum vials with an ice pack. So that's pretty much it. But like, honestly, we live so close to the hospital that like, even if I forgot something, I could just like, I wouldn't, but Kurt could just like duck home and grab something. I seriously feel like I'm going to be another week. At this point, I kind of have to tell myself that just because like, I keep getting my hopes up because I feel like like I feel things happening maybe a contraction which I think it will what I think is a contraction or I feel period pain or I get extra mucus and I just make myself think I'm going into labor or like every day I wake up to DMs and messages from my friends which is really nice because like it's nice to know people are thinking of you but I accidentally hold on to what they say they're like I have such a strong feeling you're going into labor tonight and I try to not hold on to it but I do I'm gonna go get Fox, but pray, pray that this is maybe the end of the vlog and I go into labor. And the next vlog you see is the birth vlog. <laughs> Every time I turn on my camera, I'm like, is this the last time? Okay, gotta go get my sick toddler. Happy 40 weeks, two days to me. I don't know if I'm maybe getting what Fox has. He just has like a cough and like a cold. I didn't sleep at all last night. Let's just go nap together. No. Nah. Please. Are you a little bit tired? I know, I know you are. I'm a little bit tired. You sound sicky. No. Yes. I'm going to trash. 
You want to go to church? Yeah. Um, you okay? Pineapple, pineapple. How do you feel? Yeah. We're just deciding what we're going to have for dinner. Oh, don't slap me down. <laughs> that would hurt. Did you see your hand on the camera? Are you okay? <laughs> Okay, you got it in your hair. It's in your hair, you buffhead. What is that? Ew! Put it on mum. Put it on mum. No, Put it on no, mum. No, Put it on mum. No, it's actually disgusting. She loves slimy things. No, it's disgusting. Go get her. Oh, I actually hate it. Please don't. Right, you, get, you get to pick what do you want for dinner. Like what I want to share. I don't really feel like sushi. I don't, I don't want to feel like sushi. Okay, what if I don't feel like sushi? What should I have? You had tomato. Tomato and what? And avocado. And avocado. <laughs> You bald. Yeah, You're the bald guy. Yeah. No, he just called Abby bald. He yeah, Abby, Abby is bald. Bald. Abby, come here, bald girl. Oh, look at you, darling. Look you, look at you. you look beautiful, darling. Wow. Look at her tail. What happened? She shaved. She shaved, yeah. Do you like her better like this? I like about that. Yeah? yeah. You think she looks pretty? Ooh, baby. You're the baby. <laughs> Ooh, yuck, don't lick me. Okay, sure. yeah. Can I check your temperature first? No! Come on, come here, come here, come sit here, oh, and then you can play with it. Yeah. Oh, 37.8. Quick, let's blow your nose. Quick, quick, quick. I need tissues. I need tissues. The doctor needs tissues. Come here, Fox. Big snotty blow. Go. Oh, there's still snot coming out. Oh, massive. <coughs> I did say you could play with it, didn't I? No, you're not meant to. Oh, you're not meant to shoot the thing. How are you sick and you've still got so much energy? I want what you have. <laughs> I want what you have. Energy while you're sick. Doesn't even make sense. Oh. <coughs> Cover your mouth. Whoa! Cover your mouth, man. All right, I'm going to go wash my hands. Because you're gross. <coughs> Talk to you later. I'm actually going to go for my first walk in, like, months. As you guys know, I still have pelvic pain. Symphysis pubis dysfunction. I'm over it. I'm over it, okay? I've been smart with how I've been treating my body and like not working out and moving slow. I need a walk today for both mental reasons and physical reasons. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.